On this channel, we have the ongoing quest to find the world's most epic campsite. We've slept in ancient caves, got shot at in abandoned castles, crawled into cliffside monasteries, and now we're at Africa's second biggest waterfall looking for a campsite that just might be our stupidest. Setting up a tent for the first time at night by a waterfall on a rock covered in mud? Yeah, don't do that. It's really hard. Our adventure begins with a mad sprint at Kalandula Waterfall in Angola. <laughs> we drove six hours for this, the number ready. one attraction Woo. in Angola. I'm gonna beat you, bro. <laughs> you gotta work on those hobbit feet. <laughs> Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Oh! <laughs> I've got a question. They say Kalandula Falls is Africa's second biggest waterfall, but how do you measure biggest anyway? Tallest, widest, how much water goes through it? Either way, it's 100% the biggest waterfall that no one knows about. And what do I want to know about? Can we get to the bottom? All right, what's up? We are now back on the road. We need a machete. Oui, est-ce qu'on a un machette? Eh, eh, ils ont. He has one. Perfect, okay. Well, hey bro, how's it going? Yes. C'est quoi uh, son nom? Fernando. Fernando. Yes. Meu nom est Mike. Ah, oh, Mike. Fernando. Mike, yes. I'm good. Your guide? Yes, yes. Yeah, bro. Well, right now you've got our blankets. Ah, it's I... for uh, sleeping. Ah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tent and blankets wrapped up in plastic because we had to take it on a freaking plane to get here. And uh, there's a viewpoint up here, but we heard there's a secret passage, a secret trail. We were asking some questions to the locals. That goes down to the base where, hey, if you bring the right stuff, you can sleep there. We think so. Um, might get a little wet, but hey, it's been really dry and hot. A little shower would be nice. It's been four days, maybe four days. Woo! That's four days. Oh, Fernando, yes. you all good, bro? Yes. Nice. Domingo? Sea si, chef, come okay. <laughs> Sea si, chef. All right, we got a bit of a rock stairway. I get a lot of shit from you guys for going barefoot in Congo, Angola. And listen, I've only got foot parasites twice, okay? So, haven't quite learned my lesson. But in situations like this, with rock and dirt, if there's no glass, bare feet are the best grip out there. You can wear all of these special shoes with high-performance soles, but honestly, your, your soles are the best thing you got going on. God gave you shoes. You gotta use them. Like Iguazu, right? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? We're almost to the bottom. Ah, the river. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and after about a 40 minute hike, we're at the bottom. But we've got a problem. We made it! Wow! Adventure Blue Balls right now. This is freaking incredible. And I want to go see if you can go swimming, if you can go around, but the problem is, look, we have no sun left. And there's not that many good spots to camp. I always try to live the fantasy. Why come all the way down here if we can't actually sleep in front of a waterfall? It's a little, oh, misty right here. We might get a little wet. We'll wear some raincoats. And I think the plan is going to be camp right here in full view of the falls. Set up that tent soon, tomorrow morning. Once we're all taken care of, we'll explore. But now it's too dangerous to get close to that thundering animal this time of night. So, camp first, yeah? Explore, unfortunately, tomorrow. But there'll be more light and more time. We backtrack to pick up the rest of our gear. And just like that, <laughs> it's dark. So slippery. 
Oh. It got uh it got dark quick. And we've got to be really careful on the mud. Don't want to fall. We got oh bed in the front with our blankets wrapped in plastic. Oh, we've got Ben with some raincoats. A few other things for the tent, warm clothes. I've got a camera and the tent. And we're just trying not to lose our lives oh, on this crazy, slippery rock. Look at this. All mud, all wet from the spray of the, uh, <laughs> of the falls. But look, you can see it's still in the dark. It's becoming apparent that maybe we've bit off more than we can chew here. We find a large, flat, muddy rock and we get started. This could be the best idea or worst idea I've ever had. It's not an ideal spot for a tent. A lot of mist, a lot of mud, and uh, this tent, the, uh, the fly only has one pole, and you're supposed to tie it down. Setting up a tent for the first time at night by a waterfall on a rock covered in mud? Yeah, don't do that. It's really hard. So now we're taking rocks and trying to take these uh, nylon cords like this so we're able to actually keep the fly off the tent and make sure it's actually waterproof. Is it going to work? Find out. We accomplished the mission. We've got some muddy rocks attached to the strings. The tent is half falling off the boulder, but uh, listen, I was in Boy Scouts for 12 years. It's not my best work. And I'm not 100% sure it's gonna keep us dry. But what I can promise you, if we don't die of hypothermia, the view is gonna be worth it. I promise. <laughs> We are the slaves of what we believe in. Ben doesn't think we're going to stay dry. He, uh, he may be right. Our guides, yeah, they think we're crazy and have set up their camp in a nearby cave. We're wet, wrecked, and starving, and they invite us over for dinner and a campfire because there's no way in hell we'll be able to light one there. I smell a fire. Oh, amigos. We got it. Hey, we made it. What's in that? What is that? Hey, man. <laughs> Taking a break. Fresh chicken goes into the pot with spaghetti. Ben practices his Portuguese, and we pass around a bottle. Familia. Familia. Si, oh, he, uh, say, ah, what do you say forever? See. Si. Siempre? Or? Oye y yeah. siempre. Thanks, bro. Sa salud? No, is it salud? Salud. 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 They brought the cigarettes. We brought the rum. And they're making dinner. It's amazing. Uh, ben was talking and they're like, yeah, all of us here tonight, even us, we're family. Pretty wild, right? Like we show up at this place, jump around with some freaking selfie sticks for a bit, and uh, make some friends. Calandula. Calandula is the name of the falls, yeah? Uh huh. And also where they live, the town. Oh, right on, right on. All right, how many days have we been in Angola? Ten. Ten days. Ten days. Have the days been easy? Uh, ten uh, rough days. Ten. Rough. rough days. Yeah. Um, what's his name? He wants to speak a bit in English. He wants to speak, yeah. Say valeu, valeu. It's in English, yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. My name is Fernando. Hey, Fernando. I'm a kid local, Calandula. <laughs> yes. Uh, he's tourist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He's the Michael Ingi. What's the Michael Ingi? Uh, Domingos. Uh, Antonio. Antonio. <laughs> yes. My name is Fernando. Excellent, Amazing. And if you come here, look for the brothers. This is why 
were in love with this country. Whether it's the Mwila tribe, the Mukubao, the boys cutting ships with homemade welding equipment, or the guys we found here at uh, Kalandula Falls. Everyone here is so friendly. It's unreal. If you're ready for some challenge, if you're ready for your plans to change, <laughs> you will be rewarded with some of the most incredible, unique memories ever. Like the stuff that's happened over the last couple of days. It's stuff that I could only ever dream of, you know? And isn't, isn't it the travel fantasy to show up in a place, meet local people, see something extremely local and be accepted into the group, the tribe, the, 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 the people, right? Like that's why you go places is to see things as the local sees them. Well, boys, we're here on day 10 with some beers, some wine. You got some wine, right? <laughs> Amazing night. Tomorrow's going to be the big day. We're going to see this thing in the light. Can't wait, dude. I can't wait either. Hell of a night. Nice. <laughs> We head back to our wet, muddy tent to spend the night. The roaring sound of the falls drowns out the tossing and turning of sleeping on a wet rock. Fog rolls in, and before we know it, it's morning. Oh, God damn. And then before the sun is even up, our friends are back. Let's see this waterfall. Bon dia, bon dia. Oh my God, such, a, such intensity to these hellos. <laughs> You're like a turtle. It's so worth it. <laughs> worth it, right? Look at that view. Where's the falls? Well, at this point, only you know whether or not that star lapse turned out. This camera's drenched. If you saw a wonderful star lapse, that means it worked. If you didn't, that means I might have ruined my camera. Sometimes the weather just doesn't cooperate. But luckily, this wasn't one of those times. The fog lifts and we see Africa's second biggest waterfall in all its glory. It's adventure time. Hey, check it out. The falls. It's peeking through the mist. We're trying to make our way a bit closer, being extremely careful because this is all super slippery, covered in algae. And what the hell is this primordial creature? Is that a mushroom? I don't even know. I was gonna say it's a plant, but you can't really tell. Is it some kind of elaborate algae from the prehistoric era? Don't know. But our mission, get over to that rock. You're gonna have to go on my head though. I need both hands. Yo, there's crabs. There's a big crab. Yeah. See the, see the crab? Can we catch it is the question. It's so wet. He was just on a rock. No bones. <laughs>
Another adventure complete. This is Ben. Got on, guys. My main video man, Obed, put this trip together. Kumbu Kumbu Tours. And you know me, Mike Corey, if you're listening far, host of the most adventurous channel on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this Angola adventure. Up next, we're headed to Ethiopia, baby. Okay. Okay.